Hey guys, this is Mishmash Adventures here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on my Kingfisher 2014 Coastal Kayaks Canoe. Um, so, this is my first video that I've done, and um, yeah, so to start off with the front, I've got a Rail Brazers rod, uh, fishing rod holder, and it works really nicely with my two rods. Um, I've got a fairly large brick, which has got a uh, uh, quite a decent amount of rope up there. You'll also notice that I've got this front storage compartment and I also keep uh, tools and a spare propeller for my motor. Uh, moving further down I've got this uh, uh, kayak seat. It fits well in my canoe though which is really good. Um, further back again is my tackle box and I've also got a a bait box here, which just lifts up live bait and all that sort of stuff in there. Um, I've got uh, two fishing rods here that I will normally take out on a day's fishing with me. Um, and I've also got my net over here. Uh, further back, I put my paddle underneath my rear seat, uh, just in case my motor fails. Um, normally I would have a PFD in here, personal flotation device, but um, unfortunately it is somewhere else. Um, I've got my battery that runs my motor and my depth sounder, which is a 24 volt uh, battery and it lasts all day. And um, moving further down is my seat, rear seat. Um, it's another one of those kayak seats, but works really well in the canoe, as I said. Um, this is my 24 volt water snake electric motor, um, and it's great for powering the canoe. It cruises along with two people in it, one person. Not as fast, but still really great motor. Now that I've gone through the general overview of my canoe setup, I'm going to go through a few of the features that really helped me through my day of fishing. The first one I'm going to do is both my rods. Uh, this first rod here is a Lumino Eclipse uh, rod with a Shimano reel, and it has 2-4 to four kilo line. Uh, really great rod. I really love it. Uh, this is a Fish Quest uh, with also a Shimano reel and it too has a 2-4 to four kilo uh, line. Great for battling brim, uh, flathead, whiting, grunter, all your type of uh, estuary fish, mullet, all that type of stuff too. So really great rods. Secondly, I've got my Water Snake uh, 24 pound uh, electric motor. Uh, this is a beautiful motor, it's really quiet and you're able to sneak up on uh, fish. Uh, really easy to tilt up. Um, just a great little motor with uh, four, four switches that you uh, four switches that you flick up and down and um, yeah really easy to use and great little motor for any type of canoe or kayak. Fourthly I have this uh, tackle box that my grandfather made for me um, and it is really great. Normally it has uh, little storage boxes in it but um, I took them out for a uh, larger space in the middle. So in here we have such as your um, uh, just the max and the, the minimum for uh, your fish. Uh, just some pliers, uh, uh, lip grips, knife, fishing line, uh, swivels, hooks, all that sort of stuff. Uh, great for every type of fishing thing. Wouldn't leave home without it at all. And last but certainly not least is my Railblazer uh, fishing rod holder. These are great, 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 great rod holders. Um, they have heaps of uh, flipping action in them. Uh, so this just flip, flips over and also at the back these flip down. Uh, really easy to use. Um, you can adjust the height of your rod holder as well. Would definitely recommend um, buying one of these if you were looking for rod holders at all. Yeah, really great rod holders. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching my first ever YouTube film and um, thank you for being a great support and um, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. So, thank you very much.